Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Car Drift Racing 2 with Broghammer Auto House. Today we are talking about the Piranha X, um, which is aka the 350Z. We unlocked the engine swap for this vehicle, so now I'm able to swap in the 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo, which in real life comes out of the R35 GTR, and um, its engine code is actually the VR38DETT. So. Normally the 350Z comes with a VQ based motor um, in real life and in this game and the VR is just a very well upgraded version of that VQ. Um, the new motor here makes 829 horsepower and 857 newton meters um, or in American terms 632 foot pounds of torque. The nice thing about this is when you max out the rev limiter and all the other engine performance stuff um, there's no drop off of power uh, when you hit that limiter. So that's a really nice one uh, to have in this new engine swap. It's my first time swapping this particular motor into any of the vehicles in this game. So um, as far as tuning goes, I had to adjust it obviously for more power and um, make sure that it was driving right like the way that I want it to. One of the biggest tips I have for uh, tuning wise is when you're doing the suspension heights and everything, Make sure that the front and back are about the same or exactly the same. Uh, it levels out the car and they typically tend to handle a lot better in that situation. Um, I also do that a lot with the wheel size. Um, I do run the same wheel size front and rear. It tends to work best for me. There are a couple exceptions. There's a few vehicles that I run a much larger tire in the rear than the front, but um, it's not super common. So. Um, towards the end of the tuning here too, you'll see the axis width is one that I like to keep pretty stock as well um, so that it's not wonky and the rear wheels are poked and the front wheels are in or vice versa. Um, just doesn't tend to work too well. So, um, As you can see on this car, I'm running 19 by 285s with 200 air pressure and 45 profile. Um, I noticed that in the rear it was only at a 40% profile, so I upped that to 45. It's um, essentially the sidewall size, so the tire does get a little bit bigger when you up that profile size. So the transmission is one of the biggest things about drifting and how it helps control your car. Um, I tend to run my differentials between 0.6 and 0.75, somewhere in there, depending on the vehicle and then you can adjust the individual gears down here. But I usually like to drive them first and figure out where the gearing's at so that um, I can go back and adjust accordingly. Here's what I was talking about with the axis width going back to zero. Um, I think it was at a negative because before the body kit, it was likely about three centimeters in or something like that. So not sure why, but finally I got it set to zero, which is what I prefer. And that is the end of this first tuning part. So we're going to jump out and drive it. And then uh, I'll show you kind of how I work through my tunes. And um, I'll drive for a little bit here. And then I'll stop and make some adjustments because of the way that it's drifting and how it feels for me. So you can see it's really snappy already. The tune that I have, it goes to a really harsh angle right away, which can be very good in certain situations. But um, the other thing, too, is that that sixth gear and fifth gear were a little bit too... Uh, long of a gear so you can see I'm upping fifth gear to a 1.2 and sixth gear to a 0.91 and the thing about gearing is the higher the number the longer or sorry the higher the number the shorter the gear and the lower the number the higher the gear so if the number is really low that means you're going to get more wheel speed um, but if that number is a bit higher you're more likely to be able to actually spin the wheels better um, that's why i was increasing the number on the gearing for fifth and sixth gear um, usually i like that final gear which in this case is sixth gear to be almost a 1.0 flat you can see i stopped again because sixth gear wasn't giving me enough juice and i bring that up to a 0.97 um, so know that you know you can always adjust the gearing how it feels best for you and if you move that cursor to the right, which is upping the number that is showing, um, it'll allow you to spin the wheels easier. And the same is true doing the opposite direction. If you're hitting limiter right away and you don't have enough speed in the car, 
you want to actually lower that number to lengthen the gear. So hopefully that helps a couple of you guys with uh, tuning as far as the transmission stuff goes. Uh, I always like to throw a heavy angle to try to get a little backwards action to see if my tune uh, in the front suspension is working well for that. And then try to put it on a little bit of a wall uh, while I'm running to see if that works as well. So since this was such a snappy tune driving wise, I did reduce the retraction, quick retraction, and the tightening settings on front and rear just by a little bit so that um, it could be a little bit more smooth transition left to right and back and forth a little more flowy than as snappy as it was. It was really snappy. I also added a little bit of spring stiffness because it seemed a little loose. So anyways, that's the end of the tune for the uh, 350Z or the Piranha X as far as we know it in the game. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think or if you'd like to see any other vehicle tunes. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.